You may be wondering why my wife and I live in a 25-year-old motorhome that we bought for cash. After this video, you'll know the real reason why. What's up, Elite Adjuster? So what do I mean by become a millionaire as a cat adjuster? That's probably impossible, right? I mean, it's, that sounds ridiculous. It sounds like internet sales nonsense, quite frankly, but it's not. If we run some numbers, we can see that it's actually attainable. Just to be clear, we're not doing this overnight and I'm absolutely not promising that you'll ever make money as an independent adjuster or that you'll even get work. So I have to have that disclaimer in there. Take this video for what it is. For entertainment purposes, I'm not a financial advisor, but just consider this to be a thought experiment. So how to become a millionaire as an independent adjuster? There's probably a lot of ways to do it. So this is one way the money can shake out and how to do it. It's simple, but not easy. Simple, but not easy. So what's a millionaire? The technical definition is that you have a net worth of at least a million dollars. And what that basically means is, is that if you sold everything of significance that you own, whatever cash was left over after you paid off all your debts would be your net worth. So how are you gonna become a millionaire doing cat work? Step one, get out of debt. Maximize your ability to save money by getting out of debt. All debt, if possible, even your house, if you can. So get out of debt and stay out of debt. If you don't have the cash to buy it, then you can't buy it. It's as simple as that. That's what it means to not be able to afford something. It doesn't mean put it on the Costco card or put it on the Visa or put it on the American Express. It means if you don't have the money, you just don't buy it. Step number two, reduce your living expenses as much as possible. Then reduce them even more. For this to truly work and to, and to work in record time, you really have to get out of your comfort zone and you may have to get way outside of your comfort zone to do this. My wife and I live in a 25 year old motorhome that we bought for cash. We don't have a storage unit anymore. We sold everything that was in the storage unit and we only have in this motorhome what we need to basically live with some hobby stuff like a keyboard and guitar. We have our computers and some knitting stuff and you know stuff for the kitchen. In fact, we've pared things down so much that we have extra room in this in this in this motorhome, which is I thought was going to be impossible when we first started doing this, but we have extra room, believe it or not. And finally, step 3, everything that doesn't go to a, a essential living expense goes to savings. And I highly recommend using a budgeting tool like YNAB, which is stands for you need a budget to do this. So let's run some numbers. If you have $50,000 left over after all of your other expenses are paid at the end of the year, and you completely forget about any kind of interest that you could earn, it would take you about, well, it would take you 20 years to save up $1 million. So I've been an adjuster for 20 years, and it would be super nice for me to be able to say, I've got zero years left until retirement but I didn't get this figured out until much later, which is, as we'll see in this next step, isn't that big of a deal because all is not lost. We are investing, which means that we're gonna earn interest on that money that we save. If you do a simple internet search for a compound interest calculator, you'll come up with a ton of options. So I'm gonna go to this moneychimp.com, a compound interest calculator, and just throw some simple numbers in there. And what I come up with is that if I save 50,000, if I'm able to save $50,000 a year, at 8%, then I should be able to save back $1 million in about 12 years. If we have a million dollars in the bank, plus whatever we could sell this stuff for, we have over a million dollars, so basically we would be millionaires when we get to that point. It's our net assets, and because we don't have any debt, then our net is everything that we have plus the cash. So how do you get there? As, a, as an independent adjuster doing cat work, well, you have to take every single deployment that comes your way, and you have to work in the off season and in the downtime. So in other words, don't do like I did for the first several years that I, I was an independent adjuster and work during the storm season and then go to the beach for two or three months. You have to come home from storm season and go right to work. Do it, whether you're doing photo assist or you're driving for something like Postmates or Uber or Lyft, you could be a social media manager. You could, there's all kinds of things that you can do to make extra money during the downtime so that you're always earning money and never digging into the, the money that you're trying to save. And that's really the key with this whole thing. So there you have it. Three simple steps to becoming a millionaire as a catastrophe claims adjuster. Nobody said anything about easy. Don't forget you can check out Adjuster TV on Facebook at facebook.com 
slash group slash Adjuster TV. If you found this video useful, please share it and hit the like button. And for more videos about the world of catastrophe claims, hit the subscribe button. As always, thank you so much for watching and have a great storm. This is Adjuster TV.